organizing our remaining troops to withstand. I am afraid I can only spare a few moments for you, though I will try to help you however I can. Yes, I heard he met a fittingly violent end. Yet, the enemy's spirit is not broken. Others step forward from the ranks to assume the leadership of Luskin's army. As we feared, there is some darker power behind the invaders than even Magrum. All we can do is hold on as long as we are able, and pray help arrives in time. Is there something else you need? If not, I should get back to my reconnaissance reports. Some of my operatives reported that you had recovered the fourth word of power. And what good will this word do us? We already have three of the damn things. Now that we have all four words, we may be able to unlock their power, Lord Nesher. And just how are we supposed to do that, Gen? Do you know how to use them? No, but I suspect Hadrilene understands their mysteries. She might be willing to share her secrets with our champion. You should quit wasting Gen's time. Go speak with Hadrilene if you think the word is any use. I am afraid Lord Nasher is right. You should speak to Hadrilene about this. Yes, there is... By some miracle, the city still stands, and Erin Gend clings to the hope we may yet survive. But I am older and wiser. I harbor no such illusions. That is why I have placed Gen... After all you have done for the city, the least I can do is answer your quest. The reports are grim. Even without Mogrim and Erebeth to lead them, the Luscan fury is unabated. Some sinister power, the blood... And yet I saw him hanged for failing to protect the city, as was his sworn duty. Can we really be so... Sub that is what I tell my only... Fenthic died to feed the city's lust for revenge. Come and go. Any important... I sense you have the word of power. But you have come too late. Morag has grown too strong. She has feasted on the souls of the plague victims and fed her power through the rituals of Morgrim. I can no longer stop her return. Soon my mistress will have the power to break free of the Source Stone, even without the words of power. I am only a word slave. I can do nothing against the growing power of my queen. <laughs> but where I have failed, you may yet succeed. You could enter the Source Stone itself and confront Morag before she reclaims her full power. The Source Stone is located in the dungeons beneath this castle. I have already told this to the warm blood you call Lord Nasher. There are four pedestals surrounding the Source Stone. <laughs> Place the words of power on the pedestals, and you will be drawn into the very heart of the Source Stone itself. <laughs> you must hurry. Every delay allows Morag to grow stronger. I wish you luck for the sake of us all. Back again? Is there something I can do for you?
take away from you. I see by looking at you that you are not from my world of Azala, but I thank you for your aid nonetheless. Had you not intervened, I fear I would have succumbed to the Scaled Raiders. My name is Ashira of the Shining Order from the city of Sahaladar. My garments are those of my people, though perhaps they look as strange to you as your own garb does to me. As for the name Erebeth, I have no knowledge of her. Was she a companion of yours? Morag? That name is known to me. The Queen of the Scaled Raiders! Her face has haunted my dreams! Her voice hissing whispered promises of power to tempt me to turn against my people! But I am of the Shining Order, sworn in service to Sahaladar, greatest of the floating cities on Azala. I am not Erebeth. I am Ashira, and yet there are many worlds and planes of existence drawn together in this strange place. It may be that the one you call Erebeth is my parallel in your world. Or I am her parallel, if you prefer. Perhaps that is why we have been brought together. You say this Erebeth betrayed her faith. She was lost to Morag's evil. Perhaps we have met so that I may help you avenge her fall. I am a true knight of the Shining Order of Sahaladar. Perhaps I have been brought here from Azala to redeem the memory of Erebeth, that her soul may be cleansed of its sins by my actions. The Old Ones seek to return to the world of their birth, but to do this, they need slaves and resources gathered from other, weaker worlds. Morag set the Scaled Raiders loose upon my homeworld, Azala had never faced so terrible a foe. Their savage cruelty was as alien as their appearance. The Scaled Raiders stripped my defenseless world of its magical treasures, and many of my people were sacrificed in bizarre rituals to feed the power of their queen. Vengeance is but one reason I am here. My world was peaceful and vulnerable. That is why we were among the first to suffer. But as Morag's strength grows, more of the Old Ones awaken. 
Soon a conquering army of her minions will pour forth to reclaim their homeworld. Then Morag will enslave world after world, and all will know the suffering of Azala. I think I can do that. Sorry. I don't think I can do that. Sorry. Hey! 
Dear, I'm getting to it. I'm all done here.
right, dear. I'm getting to it. I'm all done here. Not feeling, not feeling very talkative today, dear. Hey there, dear. How's it going?
are powerful for a slave. You have slain Morgrim, the prophet who heralded my coming. You have defeated Erebeth, the champion I chose from among my slave races. You have slaughtered many of my warriors and priests. But now you face Moag, Queen of the Old Ones, High Priestess of the Creators. Kneel, slave, and I shall let you live. I shall rip away your flesh and feast upon your soul.
give one blood. Finished with Morag and the rest of the old ones. When you destroyed Morag, you destroyed her magic as well. The saw stone crumbled into madness. All trapped within it were utterly consumed. I used my magic to open a portal from the collapsing saw stone into this astral pocket. A temporary place of refuge between that world and your own. I am glad you found the portal and escaped with your life, warm blood. My time here grows short. The words of power are broken, and my magic is fading. And this astral pocket will also collapse. The time of the creator race is... There is no place for me to report. Just as there was no place for Morag, I have accepted this. You have faced Morag and the Old Ones and triumphed. Even the foul and ancient magics of the Dark Queen could not stand against your might. You are the savior of Neverwinter. You have altered the of not just your own world, but a thousand others that would have fallen to Morex. Could have faced Morag's power and survived. <laughs> the threat of the Creator race. Your work is far from done. I have seen you face. Fate comes. Your legend and fame will continue to grow, spreading throughout the North. But Morag will not be the most dangerous foe you face in your lifetime. As you become ever more powerful, so will those who seek to destroy you. There are many who will try to steal that which you have worked so hard for. And others will seek to forge their own legend by destroying you. Enemies will band together. They will strike when you least expect it. That is the price of fame and fortune. More than this I cannot say. For my magic has grown weak with the destruction of the words of power. In the mists of time, cloud my vision. Quickly now, warm blood. I cannot sustain this astral pocket much longer. The portal behind me will return you to your own world. I thank you for all you have done. Never again will I be a word slave. Go through the portal, so that I may finally pass to my long-awaited eternal rest. In the end, victory. Without Morag, the Source Stone crumbled, and the great empire of the Old Ones was finally laid to rest. The deaths of these ancients could be felt throughout Neverwinter. Deprived of Morag's influence, the invading army faltered. The siege was soon turned. 
The toll of the battle had been high, but Neverwinter would not be consumed by grief or regret. Too many had already made that mistake. The city would rebuild and move forward. And what of the honored champion who had fought so hard while others fell? Their story does not end here, for this is a world of infinite tales. New adventures still await, and new legends are yet to be forged. <laughs>